Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. The Airbus A300, A310, A318, A319, A320, A321, A330, A340, A350 and A380. A family of aircraft that holds some incredible power in the industry and offers customers lots of options when it comes to selecting their own aircraft. However, on a closer inspection, there are a few missing combinations, bar of course the A311, A312, A313, etc. The main ones though were the A360, A370 and A390. Today's focus though is on why Airbus skipped the A360 and A370 and went straight to the A380. It's a big jump, and I'm sure many of you wonder why they did it. Unfortunately, we never got any firm answer or firm validation from a board member of Airbus directly, but that doesn't mean we can't make a good calculated guess based off reasoning. Firstly, we'll take a look at size. If we take a look at how Airbus named their aircraft, it isn't too tricky to tell that they base their aircraft names on the sizing. So taking a look at the A320 family as our key example, as that's still being produced. Airbus flies the A318, A319, A320 and A321. Of course, that's me ignoring any other variants like the A321neo Ala or A321neo Airbus Cabin Flex and so on. When taking a look at these aircraft, we can see there's a theme. From the A318 to the A321, the size continues to increase. The type continues to fit more passengers. This can even be seen from the jump to the A330 series. The A330 isn't incredibly big, but it's still a jump from the A320 family. The Airbus A340 is still to this day an incredibly fun and odd looking plane. It's like the elegant 777, but with two more engines whipped on. This at the time was also bigger than the A330. Airbus explored multiple different designs for their Airbus A3XX prior to it being known as the A380, and some of them were downright crazy. In fact, some involved using the A340's body to make an even bigger aircraft. Eventually, though, Airbus went straight back to the drawing board and designed a new aircraft that would be a double-decker. This is when they came up with the A380, which is 40 numbers ahead of the A340. The logic behind this decision, which I do not believe has ever been confirmed, confirmed is that because it was their heaviest aircraft double decker and so double the size overall doubling 40 to 80 allowed Airbus to name it the A380 and it made logical sense based off all their prior naming decisions however while we can say it was based off the size of the aircraft which it was seeing as the A380 is their largest aircraft it's also based off simple business practices which despite Airbus building planes and not say a photocopier or a phone is still overall the same a case study we can look at is Apple and their iPhones although they've now gone off on some incredibly odd naming rights with say the iPhone XS Max or the iPhone XR prior to this their naming was simple and indicated the advancements in technology and also the later release dates. Take the iPhone 4, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8 and even most recently the iPhone X or 10. Progressively they went higher and higher with every new bit of technology and of course the later release dates. You could say the same occurred with the A380. Another case study is Boeing, who for the most part go higher in their combinations with every new bit of technology, like the iPhone, unless of course it's a 737 MAX or a 777X. Take the 787 and their now up and coming NMA, dubbed to be the 797 as an example for Boeing's naming rights. The true final available spot in their 7 something 7 naming sequence is the 797. With Embraer joining, we could see Boeing potentially do something like Airbus and move to a different number combination. Leaving the Airbus A360 and A370 also opens up opportunities for aircraft that aren't as big as the Airbus A380, and considering it would appear that aircraft like the A380 are on their way out, these can be made available for new aircraft down the line, like the A350. The A390, well, if you were around for my viral April Fool's video, which I've now taken down, you're probably aware that that's probably going to be reserved for a larger aircraft than the A380, although we'll have to wait and see on that front, as larger aircraft seem to be heading out. Either way, aircraft naming is nothing short of fascinating, and I hope this little video helped you better understand why Airbus skipped the A360 and also the A370 and went straight to the A380 for their double-decker plane. Thank you very much for watching another one of my videos. I do appreciate all your continued support and do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.